There is a credit card secret that you must know. This is how I've got into a $37,300 monthly credit card limit at 21 years old. And I also have an excellent credit score. I'm going to show you exactly what I've done and what you need to know to achieve a high credit score as well as really high credit card limit. Let's talk about that. What is going on? Welcome to the Flaming Profits YouTube channel where we teach you how to become a more profitable investor in the stock market. If you are new here, what in the world are you waiting for? Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We make all sorts of content to benefit your financial life. Anything from credit cards to managing your money. That is what we talk about here. We know here that a wage makes you a living, but profits make you a fortune. That is why I dedicate myself to making these videos for you. Make sure you like this video to show your support and leave me a comment down below at the end of the video. And by the way, another reason why you might want to be subscribed to the Flaming Profit YouTube channel is because sometimes I point out stocks that might be good advice, but even though I do not provide financial advice, or and this is just my opinion, like for example, this stock, I said how to double your money when it was at $19 with the stock and now it's trading around $26. So it's almost going to hit $30. I also said in another video why you should go all in Carnival Cruise stock when it was at $10. And right now it's trading at $26. So you would have easily doubled your money. And it definitely would have been a good idea to go all in. All right, now let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing that you have to understand is that your on-time payments have to be 100%. If you're not gonna pay your credit card bill on time in full, then you should not be using credit cards. Credit cards are meant to be paid in full. That is how you're gonna achieve a high credit score. You should always have 100% on-time payments. Also, the utilization. You should never use more than 10% of your available credit. As you see there, my total limit is 37,000. So by me only spending 1,300 or less, I'm keeping my utilization rate below 4%. You can easily accomplish this by making sure that you pay your credit cards before the due date and frequently so every week you can pay off your credit card and then use it again. It also helps having a higher credit card limit so the more cards you have, the higher credit limit that you will have. So this helps a lot when trying to accomplish having a really low credit utilization score. This is going to improve your credit score by a lot so make sure you always keep it maybe below 5% if you can. So I highly recommend this. So most of my cards, I keep in my balance zero dollars and I only use a few and I rotate them like this. But yes, yeah, so don't spend too much on your credit cards because it will severely impact your score having a high credit card balance on your card. So make sure you pay them off frequently and that you have a high credit limit. That way your utilization won't be high. Next is derogatory marks. If you have any debt or owe any money, that is gonna be your first priority. You definitely do not need to have any debt in collections or public records. Like you see here, I have zero. So this helps me out a lot in having a really high credit score. Now the age of credit history, this is not something that you can control a lot. And this is something that I need help with, but it's not something that I can do. It's just a matter of time. But there is a secret hack that you must know. If you know someone that has a good credit score or an excellent credit score, you can just ask them to add you as an authorized user on their card. This does not mean that you're going to be able to use their credit card. It's only if they give it to you. But by doing this, you will allow them to basically, whatever credit card history they have with that card, it's going to go ahead and get published your credit record. Um, I did this with my uncle. He had a card that was 15 years and 11 months. I had barely gotten a credit card when I was like 19 or 18 or 20. So there's no way I have a 15 year old card. I did this by my uncle adding me as an authorized user. This definitely helps improve your credit history as well as your credit um, score because it will basically affect you the same way that it does to that relative or family friend that you have. So I definitely recommend this, especially for those of you who are new to the credit game, you can have a huge advantage by doing this. And this is basically how whenever I got my first mortgage uh, for a rental property, I was able to get a really low um, interest rate 
for the loan. That is because I had an excellent credit score. So having a high credit score can impact you and benefit you in so many ways. That is why it's important for you to start paying attention to your credit early because whenever you'll need it, you'll have a good credit score. Some people say, oh, I'll just worry about my credit score whenever I actually need it when I'm going to borrow money. But that's not the way it works. You need to prepare in advance in the event that you'll need it. Even if you don't think or say, I'll never borrow money, you don't know that for sure. Things change, so you might as well be well prepared whenever the time comes. So this is my history with credit cards. I have some cards 15 years, one year, one year, one year. So a lot of them are fairly new, but the 15 year old card, I was able to add that through adding myself as an authorized user to someone who agreed to it. So you can do the same for that. Next is hard increase. It is to your advantage to have as few hard increase as possible, but it is often necessary for you to get hard inquiries whenever you apply to a new card. Whenever you apply to a new loan, a new card, it will show up here that someone pulled your credit. This is okay. It will lower your credit score, but not forever. Um, in one year to two years, this will definitely come off and improve your credit score as soon as it comes off. But often it is necessary for you to have a hard inquiry. It is much better for you to have your next real estate deal and have a hard inquiry than to not have a hard inquiry and not have a real estate deal. So it's okay, but just keep in mind that it will affect your credit score temporarily. And as long as you don't do too many hard inquiries at the same time, then it's completely okay. Right now I have 10 um, credit lines uh, with my own credit. Uh, one of the first ones is the Wells Fargo home mortgage that I have. It's about 86,000. And the rest are just credit cards that I don't carry a balance on. So to summarize this, always be focusing on your credit score. You should try to make it as high as possible, possibly upwards of 800 credit score, because this will benefit you in so many ways. Whenever you might borrow money for a real estate loan or just a loan, um, you're always going to want the lowest interest rate possible. You're going to accomplish this by having a credit score. Sometimes whenever you rent apartments, they even check your credit score for that. So it really benefits you to focus on your credit score. And it is very important that you start early because the earlier you start, the better off you will be. There is no reason why you should be spending money from a debit card. Debit cards do not reward you for purchases. Credit cards often pay you 2%. So every purchase that I make, I make at least 2% back. That adds up to a lot over the years. Last year from Discover, I got more than $400 in cash back just in one year. I made a video on that if you're curious on how I did that and how you can as well. So there's a lot of benefits to, towards using credit cards and the credit card system. And there's a lot of hacks that you can do to increase your credit score. So that's my advice for you. Let me know what you think of this. And if you have any specific questions, make sure you comment down below. Let me know and I'll answer them for you. Thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. If you want three free stocks, make sure you check out the links in the description. Two of them are provided to you by Webull, another one Robinhood, and then M1 Finance $10 for you to get started investing. I use all of them. And then the Discover Secure credit card, they're going to give you $50 of free spending money in your first month, as well as 1% to 2% cash back on every single purchase. All the links are down in the description down below. Make sure you check it out. Also, the Myth Mobile cell phone plan, that's the one I use. I only pay $15 for my cell phone every month. There is no reason for you to be spending more than that. A lot of times people are paying upwards of $100 per month for their cell phone service. So make sure you check that out. Thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace.